today from Ford Field in Detroit. It's a special Thanksgiving Day presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Detroit Lions taking on the Chicago Bears. Downtown between Brush Street and I-375, that's where we're located in the heart of Detroit at Ford Field, which first opened back in 2002. Today, our coverage kicks off with a good one here between the Chicago Bears and the Detroit Lions. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Lions team entering play. They come in on a pretty good roll here, winner. Still scoreless here in the first, but a third down situation forthcoming. Let's get into the action. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule it. So coming on now is the field goal unit. They're going to try for three, and he'll need all the leg he's got here. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And the Lions are going to take a 3 nothing lead. This defense already looking at a deficit on the scoreboard, but now what can they design here to disrupt this third down play? Looking to throw. And here is a leaping catch. He pulled it in. And he is going to have a Lions first down. Time to get back into the action. The football in the red zone for this offense. It's second down at six yards to go. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Seven yards there and a first down. Once again, it's Swift. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. He's hit pay dirt a lot this year, but not that time. Yeah, I'm tracking right there with you. You're exactly right. He's found the end zone plenty of times. No way I can find any fault with the call. He may not have scored there, but of course you're going to give it to him. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. They may be snapping a ball near the goal line, but all you're thinking defensively, keep them out of the end zone. Force the incompletion, force them into going for three and not giving up six. He opted to go with his scramble, gets two yards, and now it's fourth. And, partner, I would guess that in his headset, he was hearing from his coach, it's third down, don't take a sack. And in this case, he's able to avoid the pressure and get out of there. He doesn't get the first down, but he does turn a possible loss into positive yardage. And that is caught. Touchdown, Detroit. Austin Hooper, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Lions' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Well, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. They'll try and run here with Swift. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Swift will take this one in. It's a Lions touchdown. Go to 
first drive ended in three. This time they take it down and punch it in the end zone. So that first drive felt like they were just gathering knowledge, didn't it? Just enough to kick the field goal on the first one. And the second time they put it all together. A third down situation coming up in the third quarter in this defense, hoping to turn that third down into fourth. Now back to throw. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Now for the field goal try, here's Eddie Pinheiro. From the right hash and call it an even 50 yards. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And that will extend their lead even further. It's a third down situation in the fourth quarter. Time to see if this defense is up to the task. They're going to look to throw. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And this won't do it. He needed six. He only got half. Now the Lions, they send out the field goal unit here. On the left hash, officially it's called a 51-yard attempt. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And that will extend their lead even further. offense ready to kick off their next drive after the touchdown we just saw we have a brand new ball game and now look at the situation you got plenty of time on the clock defensively they have three timeouts so do you run the football here or do you throw it I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit and you tell them here's the situation they got all their timeouts so we are not going to play this conservatively we've got to attack them we've got to make them use those gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, I and mean, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. They run on first down as they're able to get this forward for about four. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They run out of the gun with Swift. And maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. 157 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. First and 10, it's Swift. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. One final kneel down here as it comes inside the 42nd mark, and that should be enough to put this one on ice. So it's third and six, and this will be the eighth play of the drive. Uh, 
So this one's over. It's a win for the Detroit Lions. And we talk so much about the turnover battle determining who wins and who loses. This game, no exception. They didn't turn the ball over at all, and they go on to victory. They look like a smooth operation in this one, didn't they? Because you look at every facet of the game, they handled their business. Offense took care of the football, converted it into points. Defense took the ball away, gave it back to the offense. Special teams, right there with them. That's the type of game a coach is going to really love and value. And when they show the film, they have to be careful not to give out too many kudos. <laughs> Today, from Bank of America Stadium in Charlotte, North Carolina, it's week 13 of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Carolina Panthers taking on the Detroit Lions. Well, it is just the perfect time of year for a trip to the Carolinas, and that's where we find ourselves at Bank of America Stadium in Uptown Charlotte. Today, we've got a Week 13 matchup for you here between the Detroit Lions and the Carolina Panthers. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, we look at this Panther ball club as they interplay here. They come in off the... The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Here's a play fake as they set up to throw. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. And he'll be taken down, but they've got this one up to the 35-yard line. A uh, first down there on a pickup of 25. From the gun, here's Swift. 
And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The Lions at six and five now of the year. And they've been playing their best football of the year. Winners are four in a row. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Right back to Swift again on second down. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. Well, this defense, Charles, really played well in that win a week ago. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. Swift going to try up the middle. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue, just make sure you feed me the football? And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to them. So first and 10 now from the 30. On play action, they'll throw. That one almost intercepted, but it's incomplete. Not a good throw there, and it'll be second down. Ball on the 30 as they come up second and 10. He'll look to throw. And it's hauled in by Austin Hooper. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. He'll look to throw. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. This is up and good from Pinheiro. And the Lions are going to take a 3-0 lead. Coming up here, this defense looking for a third down stop in the second quarter. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Flushed out right. And he stopped up short of the first as they tackle him down at about the 36. Eddie Pinheiro on now. From the right hash, this from 53. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And they will take the lead here in this battle of field goals at 6-3. to three. Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. On third down, here comes Swift. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yard. Second quarter, this defense looking for a big third down stop here. They're already down on the scoreboard, just trying to get the ball back to their offense. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. Down and they go with Swift again. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. A third field goal in the first half, not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. He's got this complete to Williams. And in for the Lions, touchdown. Jamison Williams 
with touchdown number seven on the year. And they are able to add on to their advantage. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better because they had two previous. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it. He rifles one that's intercepted. It's C.J. Henderson picking it off. The 20. And he will bring this one back. It's a pick six for a Panther touchdown. An excellent play there, CD, on the pick six. And I think they, were they a nickel? Did they have an extra DB out there? Yeah, Brandon, I think they were in standard nickel, not the uh, Buffalo, as teams like to call it, meaning three safety. Coming up here, preserve the lead for this defense. Fourth quarter, close game. Third down, here we go. On the handoff, this is Swift. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. The key coming up here, preserve the lead for this defense. Fourth quarter, close game. Third down, here we go. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. A right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. It's C.J. Henderson picking it off, and the Panthers are going to get it back here, just shy of the 20. C.D., I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that one. A solid drive here has this offense in really good position. Can they finish the drive off? Let's find out. It's first and ten inside the... And this is caught now for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. No pain, no gain. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league. Second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that time. Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. The offense coming back out here. Plenty of energy ready to roll. Looking to just add to what they have been doing after scoring a touchdown, Charles, their last time out. And that's a great feeling to have on the sideline, partner, knowing you just won the battle against the opposing defense. And since they came off the field, I'll guarantee you all they want to do is get back out there because they know they have the upper hand on that defense right now. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. They'll look to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Nicole Hardman, the intended target, but it's going to be second down. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. Oh, he forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. Jeremy Chin picks it off. And the Panthers have just about sewn up this football game. Boy, so another interception, CD. And it feels like he's starting to unravel a little bit. And as you would expect, still working. Second season. 